Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Ah, I'm going to take a few moments just to take a big deep breath this morning. I've got a really, really beautiful uh, tool and um, just kind of opportunity to share with you how to really tap into that place of manifesting and really deepen into creating more abundance and love and happiness and well-being into your life. So before we dive into that, I just want to take a big deep breath. <sighs> Good morning. So I was taking a walk by the river this morning and really just feeling really reflective and wanted to just pop on here a little early this morning to just really talk about how to really get ourselves into that powerful place to manifest whatever it is that we want. I'm all about the manifesting. Give me a thumbs up. Give me up some hearts if that's what you're all about as well. But even in that process, it can be easy to be pulled off the manifesting kind of frequency because life gets in the way, right? And our ego and our mind gets in the way. So I really wanted to just come on here to give some reminders, to give some really quick tools and tips that you can use to get you yourself back clicked into that place of, of joy and manifesting, mass, manifesting power. Oh, my brain's not quite on yet this morning, obviously. <laughs> so I know for myself, I, uh, I woke up this morning and I've been waking up every morning recently, just kind of feeling a little bit on edge and noticing a lot of um, just voices, mind chatter, right? The anxiety of the mind chatter can just be really, really strong sometimes. And I know that this is what a lot of my clients go through, a lot of, of you guys probably are also experiencing, especially when there is so much going on in the world. It just, it tends to put the mind into hyperactive mode and like overdrive mode. And it's really, really important in these moments to not get swept up into that overdrive of the, the over-functioning, overthinking mind. Because when we get into that place and we start our day from that place, it can just pull us into this negative energy spiral, right? And into this energy vortex that's just like sucking us down into a place of being very reactionary, being less excited, being less joyful, right? All the things. And from that place, we are giving away our manifesting abilities and our manifesting powers. And so to be able to shift out of that, we have to be very intentional and very aware of how we are managing our energy and how we're managing our emotions. So every morning, especially recently, I've just been hyper-focused, like a thought ninja, Every single moment, just checking in with how am I feeling today? How am I feeling today, right? What is going on? What voices are coming up for me? And I will actually, and I really recommend this as a tool as well, is I will sit down and I will journal out and just write out all the things that I'm feeling. I'm feeling this, I'm feeling that. I will write out all the big scares or fears or insecurities or whatever it is that I'm feeling. I'll write it down, write it down, write it down until I can't think of anything else that's coming through. And what I notice in this moment is that I can just feel this weight coming up and off of me, right? Where it's no longer all these mind chatter fears and voices and thoughts are being stuck in my psyche and, and dictating how I'm like just kind of feeling when I wake up. I'm able to just like literally purge them out onto the paper, onto my journal and see them objectively for what they are. And when I do this, it's really, really powerful because then I can start to really see it objectively and say, wow, like, I had no idea that I was holding on to all this fear and all these thoughts and all these voices, right? And really being able to see them for what they really are. And a lot of times, the majority of the times, they're not true, right? They're not true. Or they're based in something from the past that is now dictating what could be in the future. And that is not where we want to go at all either, right? So I wanted to talk to this because you can shift these thoughts and you could get out of these patterns. And not only can you, but it's, it's a necessity to do this if you really want to make sure that you're moving forward in an intentional way for your future. Okay? So when I, I'm trying to think about how I want to talk about this because, you know, there's, there's, the, there's this path and there's this path. So let's start, first talk about this path, right? The path of not actually making the shift not actually getting the help, not shifting through these old patterns of beliefs, these patterns of thinking, these deep fears, right? If we don't actually shift out of that pattern, 
we end up just getting ourselves into this like this spiraling loop of our thoughts right and once again comment below if this is like hitting home for you if you've noticed this if you struggle with this at all i want to hear um we get ourselves into this negative loop where we start just getting that this is our our normal operating system right and that this is how we start to see the world so maybe it's for you, it's the thought of, you know, there are no good men out there. And every man that I come across is just kind of lame and he's not good enough. And he's never going to, you know, be able to kind of meet me where I'm at, or he's not going to be able to commit. Maybe it's something like, God, I feel so lonely and I'm so upset by being lonely and I just want to have someone. And why can't I have someone, right? We can go into these kind of thought loops and these thought loops start to dictate how we see the world. It's literally like these mindset thought loops become glasses that we put on. And that's how we are actually seeing the world. Even though the world isn't actually like that, it feels like that to us. So when we get into these negative thought patterns and we start seeing the world from that place, that's when we start to click into that power of manifestation, but it's not the power of manifestation that we want because in that place, we are actually manifesting what we don't want. We're manifesting more of the same. We're manifesting what we already see is happening in our life to date. And that's why so many people struggle to be able to attract the kind of love and relationship that they really want for their life because they're not taking the time to do the inner work to actually catch the thoughts and catch the beliefs and actually move through those fears and beliefs to shift them onto a different path, right? Onto an entirely different operating system. It's literally rewiring your brain and reprogramming your brain for a new operating system. And that's what we need to do. We need to be super hyper diligent about being aware of what our thoughts are thinking all the time and make sure that we're not actually getting into those negative thought loops or putting on those glasses of a perspective that's not serving us, right? But a lot of times we don't even realize that this is happening. We don't even realize that this is our operating system because of the fact that this is how it's been for so long. We don't know any other way. Oof, yeah, we don't know any other way. And so then we start to see things that we want and it triggers it even deeper because we realize we don't have it, right? Every time we see a happy couple, every time we see someone fulfilling their dreams and going after their goals, deep down that fear is being really triggered. It's like this just like stabbing in the heart, right? Of saying, see, you don't have that yet. See, you're never gonna have that, see? This is your life and you're not going to be as good as that, right? And it can be really, really intense. And I feel you. I feel you because it's something that this is what I help women to do all the time, to move through these feelings, to move through these fears and literally unlaunch them and reprogram and rewire your brain so that you can be starting to choose a different path, to start to choose a different operating system for your mind. But... Here's what happens when we do actually choose to take that empowered step and to be able to actually move to a different path, a new operating system, a new set of glasses, so to speak, of how we choose to see the world, right? And not just repeating affirmations every day. It's so much more than that. This is about actually getting down into the underground, into the subconscious, where the true belief operating system lies and reprogramming it from that state, not from the brain state, but from that state. When we start to actually shift and do that, we really truly start to see the world in an entirely other way, right? We start to shift into a place of knowing that things are possible for us and that the world is working out for us and that everything is happening exactly for our perfect growth, right? And when we start to shift into that perspective of saying, wow, yes, Everything from the past has led me up to this moment. Everything moving forward is just preparing me for exactly what it is that I'm wanting. My desires have already been received and they are on their way to me. We literally shift our frequency into a powerful place of manifesting that new desire and that new reality. But it takes practice and it takes intention. And sometimes it takes some extra support from someone to actually help you to see what those old negative operating systems are and help you to shift into that path. But for myself, I've been noticing it recently. There's been a lot of just like, just old, old shit, <laughs> just old shit that I'm just tired of. I'm just tired of dealing with it. And I can see it 
for what it is. And it's completely not true. And it's been really interesting to be able to work myself through it and use all the principles and coaching techniques that I use with clients on myself to actually shift myself out of these old thought patterns and into a new operating system. And the biggest thing that it comes down to, what for me was being able to bring this awareness. And then I, I was taking a walk this morning. I just took a walk and I just allowed myself to be present in the moment and to really ground into the truths, right? And really ground into the vision of the future woman that I already am, right? But that I get to continue to embody and embrace and showcase for the world. And this is just so incredibly powerful work. And it's something that I'm starting to call relationship energetics because this is how we apply this to relationships. This is how we start to really make fast changes in relationships. You know, women come to me and they're like, I don't know how it is that you are able to shift people's lives so fast. <laughs> I'm saying it's because I, I'm not just working on the surface level. I'm not just working with the tips and the tricks and the text and that and the, you know, use these words to save him or, you know, get him to like you. It's about really getting into the depths of it. Right? To get into that place of the energetics of success, the energetics of success that, that apply to all areas of life. And a lot of times we get so stuck into the contrast, we get so stuck into what isn't working that we just keep ourselves in that mode of operating and that's how we just keep attracting more of that into our lives. So this is what I really want to offer for each of you today that are listening. Um, I really want you to think about and give yourself this intentional practice to sit down at least for a few days, if not for a full week, every single morning and just check in with yourself. How are you feeling today? How are you feeling today? And actually allow yourself to write what is coming up for you. Don't get scared of it. Don't think that by writing it, it's going to make it come true. It's not going to make it come true. It's just actually the opposite. It's helping to get it out of you helping to see it objectively for what it is. And, and if it's good feeling thoughts, that's fantastic. And you can keep just chewing into that and like, like massaging that out and really just soaking into those good feelings. And if they're feelings that aren't feeling good, get them up and out of you so that you can really see them for what they are and start actually asking yourself, are these things true? And are these things really things that I need to keep holding on to, or can I let these things go, right? This is a really, really powerful tool and this is where we really start to make those dra drastic shifts. And if this is something that you're feeling like you do want help with, that you're not very good at it, or you just feel like it can happen a lot quicker with support, that's what I'm here for, babe. That's what I'm here for. I'm happy to set up a time to get on a quick free breakthrough call with you and just talk through what these limiting fears and thoughts are and, um, and help move you through those because it's extremely, extremely important to make sure that we're not staying in those thought patterns from the past because that's going to continue to dictate the future and manifesting more of that into your life. But when we do shift that path, so many beautiful opportunities can unfold. So many beautiful opportunities can unfold. So I'm going to leave you with that for today. Um, I will leave the link on my calendar for a quick breakthrough through call. If this is something that you have not taken me up on, I highly recommend it. If you already have taken me up on it, but you just still want support, I also do one-off call coaching calls. So happy to do that as well. Just reach out and uh, I will, uh, I'll get you what you need. So have a beautiful day. By the way, today is 11-11-2020, which is to me just a very, very beautiful, magical day. 11-11 is the number of angels. It's my, my angel number. And 2020 is, of course, particular, are usually seen as being like the, the number for clarity and clear vision. So today we have angels and clear vision coming together with this auspicious number. So a beautiful day to talk about clearing through old old shit and opening up for more clarity. Talk with you soon, babes. Mwah.